Big Daddy and Jekyll have planned to explode all of London using RDX, but Sonia had informed Mayhul that tonight there's a plan to blast London Eye. That's why Mayhul and his entire team had already reached there. However, before Mayhul's arrival, Big Daddy's goons had spread RDX everywhere, and there are explosions started all. Mayhul was running behind a security guard because he had the remote. But that security guard was faster than Mayhul. Mayhul suddenly disappears while running away. When the criminal looked back, there was no one behind him. Seeing this, the criminal gets anxious and scared. Logical army, can you tell me where Mayhul might be hidden? Tell me your answer in the comments. Look carefully, bubbles are forming in the water below, which means Mayhul is hiding in the water. The guard notices Mayhul. He starts moving towards the water, but suddenly, Alia appears from above. It's time for some action. Let's crack the enemy's bones with satisfaction. Alia takes the remote from the guard's hand and gives him a powerful kick. But what is this? The guard remains unaffected. Instead, Alia's kick hits her leg. Alia presses the flying gun button. But before Alia could fly at the speed of a bullet, the guard jumps into the air and grabs one of Alia's legs and whirls Alia around and throws her into the water. Alia lands straight into the water. Mayhul, sir! That's when suddenly, just like a superhero, Mayhul comes out of water. A fierce fight ensues between Mayhul and the criminal. Alia starts shouting from within the water. Iron needs plastic. Mayhul, sir, fantastic. Mayhul immediately jumps inside the water and comes out with Alia. But what is this? Blood was oozing from Alia's leg. Mayhul quickly takes out his hanky and ties it around the wound. Today Alia was feeling like a soldier. Detective Anderson arrives there. Come Mayhul, there are lots of bombs! Bull Balea scientist is expert in defusing bombs. But where is the Bull Balea scientist? Everyone starts searching for the Bull Balea scientist, but he's nowhere to be found. However, Alia understands where the Bull Balea scientist is hiding. Logical army, can you tell us where the Bull Balea scientist is hiding? There's just one shoe from the Bull Balea scientist right under the tree. So, it seems like the scientist is up in the tree. Scientist, come down. You guys can fight but I don't know how to fight. That's why I have to hide. Scientist sir, come here. I'm with you down here. Mayhul and the entire team start searching for the bomb. If all these bombs explode, we won't even know what happened to the London Eye. Sir, I can punch these bombs and break them. If the bomb breaks, there won't be a need to defuse it. Alia, don't make such a mistake. I don't even know what might happen to you. After this, everyone gets to work. Wherever they find bombs, the Bull Balea scientist is defusing them. Suddenly, Alia finds a bomb in a dustbin and tries to defuse it herself. Without thinking, she cuts the red wire of the bomb, just like the Bull Balea scientist does. Mayhul sees this and quickly takes the bomb from Alia's hand and throws it into the air. The bomb explodes and everyone falls back. Alia's face turns completely black due to the explosion. Mayhul's clothes and the Bull Balea scientist's appearance are also quite messy. All of Alia's actions have ruined my outfit. One day, she'll get me into trouble. Detective Anderson was a little further away, so he wasn't affected as much. Mayhul quickly rushes over to Alia, looking quite angry. Today, because of you, everyone's lives could have been in danger. Alia gets really scared and starts crying loudly. <laughs> Mayhul also heads off to search for the remaining bombs, leaving Alia behind. The Bull Balea scientist and Detective Anderson join Mayhul, and no one talks to Alia. Suddenly, Hakarati arrives there. Alia, what happened to you? And where is Mayhul, sir? But Alia doesn't respond to Adi's questions. Hey, Alia, I got you a chocolate. All right, I'm gonna take off, too. Upon hearing the word chocolate, Alia's mouth starts watering. Um, I'm also leaving. Adi gives the chocolate to Alia. Only one bomb is left now. Logical army, can you think and tell me which wire needs to be cut to defuse this bomb? Carefully observe and let me know which wire is wrongly connected. The black wire is connected incorrectly. 
The scientist realizes this and cuts the black wire. Jay is in the 10th position, not the 9th position. Addy walks up to Mayhul and tells him that he managed to hack Big Daddy's mobile for two minutes. Right now, Big Daddy and Jekyll are playing a cricket match at a ground in London. Oh, Big Daddy is quite an interesting character, causing blasts here with RDX and playing a match in a stadium there. Mayhul and the entire team reached the stadium, but they couldn't get entry because Big Daddy had booked the whole stadium for a day, and no one was allowed inside without permission. Logical Army, can you tell me what Mayhul will do now to get inside? Share your idea with me in the comments. Observe carefully, many water campers are being taken inside through the side gate of the stadium. Mayhul's whole team goes to a clothing shop to change their outfits and then enters the stadium with water campers. Upon seeing the view inside the stadium, everyone is surprised. Bodyguards and gunners are positioned all around the stadium. Big Daddy's numerous henchmen are armed with sniper rifles, observing people coming in and out of the stadium. Catching Big Daddy here is impossible. The only option is to get out of here. Mayhul signals everyone to leave, and they all exit with the empty water campers. Hey, where is Alia? The ground beneath Mayhul's feet shifts as Alia is still inside. If Big Daddy's bodyguards start getting suspicious, they might not hesitate to shoot Alia. Mayhul dials Alia's number right away, but she doesn't pick up. At this point, going back inside seemed like the only choice. Anderson, please help me. I need a helicopter, a sniper gun, and hand grenades. Detective Anderson immediately calls his team and arranges for a helicopter. A helicopter lands on the top floor of a building. Mayhul and Adi put on bulletproof jackets and grab sniper guns. Mayhul tells Anderson that he's gonna go up to the stadium's top and start shooting, causing chaos. That way, they can use the situation to get Alia out. Mayhul and Adi head up to the stadium. When they reach the top, Mayhul starts throwing hand grenades. Big Daddy's guards rush to protect him. Addy spots Alia through the sniper scope. Alia is just chilling, eating popcorn, and watching the match. Sir, there's Alia. But until then, Big Daddy's crew starts firing from the helicopter. The pilot begins to maneuver the helicopter, and by that time, the Bull Balea scientist and Detective Anderson arrive at the stadium. They take Alia with them and manage to leave. Let's go. Mayhul and Adi come back safely in the helicopter. It lands on the same building's top floor. Meanwhile, the Bull Balea scientist and Detective Anderson also bring Alia there. Mayhul becomes quite angry with Alia. What were you thinking, Alia? Sir, um, I started watching the match and... Before she can say anything else, Alia starts crying and hugs Mayhul tightly. Everyone becomes emotional because today, Alia narrowly avoided a life-threatening situation. Suddenly, Alia hands over a chip to Adi. Mayhul sir, I used the opportunity and swiped a chip from one of Big Daddy's men. Who knows, it might have some secret data about Big Daddy. Mayhul immediately realizes that Alia stayed inside the stadium to steal that chip. Mayhul apologizes to Alia, but just then, Big Daddy's army appears in the sky. Numerous helicopters surround Mayhul and his team from all sides. Everyone raises their hands. Mayhul is unsure about what to do next. One of Big Daddy's helicopters approaches Mayhul. Big Daddy is sitting inside with a sniper in his hand. Mayhul, you really are a genius. But now I will kill you. Before Mayhul can say anything, Alia speaks up. If you dare utter a word about Mayhul, sir, I'll beat you like a mincemeat. Upon hearing this, Big Daddy gets really angry and targets Alia with his sniper gun. Stop, stop, please stop. However, Big Daddy doesn't listen to anyone and fires. Yet, out of nowhere, Detective Anderson standing close by, swiftly kicks Alia's leg. Alia stumbles and the bullet narrowly misses her. Seizing the opportunity, Mayhul grabs the fallen gun and shoots Big Daddy. The bullet hits Big Daddy's side, and the pilot starts shouting loudly. Big Daddy injured. Come back. Come back. Upon hearing this, all the helicopters converge around Big Daddy, 
and they start firing at Mayhul's team while retreating. Alia also picks up some debris from the nearby helicopter. Take this. Mayhul and Detective Anderson start firing together, but Big Daddy's men manage to take Big Daddy away. Mayhul and his team return to the hotel. Everyone was quite tired, so they go to sleep. In the night, two individuals arrive at the hotel and hand a bundle of cash to the manager. They inquire about Mayhul's team. Tempted by the money, the manager spills the beans about Mayhul and his team. The two of them get a duplicate key from the manager and sneak into Mayhul's room. The room is dimly lit, and Mayhul is sleeping on the bed with his shoes off. One of the guys takes out a knife and starts moving slowly towards the bed. But suddenly, the other guy realizes that Mayhul isn't on the bed at all. Logical army, how did the second guy figure out that Mayhul wasn't on the bed? Think about it and let me know your answer in the comments. Pay close attention, you can see someone's feet below the curtain. This means Mayhul placed his shoes on the bed and hid behind the curtain. The second guy signals the first guy to stay quiet and starts moving toward the curtain with his knife. However, from behind the curtain, Mayhul sees everything. As soon as the second guy attacks Mayhul, he swiftly pulls the curtain, covering the guy's face, and he kicks the knife out of the second guy's hand with his feet. The second guy falls right there. Then, Mayhul gives the second guy a good beating and calls Alia to his room. Alia, you handle this guy while I tie him up. Mayhul removes the knife from the man's leg. Mayhul immediately takes the man downstairs to the hotel manager. As they reach downstairs, Mayhul quickly realizes that the hotel manager is also in cahoots with that guy. How did Mayhul figure out that the hotel manager was involved with that man? The hotel manager is at ease, enjoying his meal, and the sole entry point to the hotel is through him. Furthermore, the spare key to Mayhul's room was solely in the possession of the manager, couldn't have entered without the manager's approval. Seeing blood on both Mayhul's and the man's legs, the bread slips from the manager's hand. Support me if you want to escape. To avoid the police, the manager teams up with Mayhul and starts tending to the man's leg using a first aid kit. At that moment, Mayhul heads back to his room to get the other guy. However, the room's door was locked from the inside, and it sounded like there was a fight happening. Mayhul gets really worried about Alia. He sees that Alia is still holding the curtain to cover the man's face and keeping him subdued. Stop, Alia, stop. However, Mayhul's voice doesn't reach Alia, who is focused on dealing with the guy. Mayhul had no other option. Mayhul kicked the door hard and went inside. He promptly steps in, pulling the guy away from Alia and uncovering his face. The man was in a dire state. What were you doing, Alia? If he hadn't breathed, he would have died. Mayhul, sir, he tried to kill you. I can't let him alive. Enough, Alia. We can use him to get to Big Daddy. After that, Mayhul asks the man, and he admits he's not with Big Daddy's gang. He says a guy named Morgan paid him to target Mayhul. Interesting. Very interesting. Now, who is this Morgan? Mayhul gets the address from the man regarding Morgan and heads out with Detective Anderson. Before leaving, Alia, put these two in a room at the hotel and lock it until I return. Alia holds the two guys and the manager at gunpoint and sits on the manager's chair, playing a detective IQ game. The detective IQ game is so engaging, it's actually boosting my IQ. Meanwhile, the Bull Balea scientist is still snoring away in his room, completely unaware of what's happening outside. On the other hand, Mayhul and Detective Anderson reach Morgan's address. Morgan lived in a ruined house out of the city. There were two paths to enter the broken-down house. Can you tell Mayhul and Anderson which path they should take to enter? Pay close attention, the first path is covered in spider webs, while the second path has none. This suggests that Morgan probably chose the second path, Mayhul and Anderson opt for the second path. However, as they step in, they press on something, and the ground sinks beneath them. Inside, they find Morgan's dead body and liquid spread around. What is this liquid? What kind of research was Morgan conducting? 
Suddenly, Mehul gets a call from Sonia in India. She tells him that shooting Big Daddy has put him in danger. Big Daddy plans to get back by causing trouble in Mehul's city, Mumbai. Big Daddy and Jaikal are returning to Mumbai tonight. This means the whole of Mumbai is in danger. But who could have killed Morgan? What's Big Daddy gonna do with Mumbai? Can Mehul catch Big Daddy? Will Mehul save the Mumbai city? Find out in the next episode.